Hi, my name is uh, George Dagnino. I'm the editor of the Peter Dac Portfolio Strategy and Management. What I would like to do with this uh, short video is to show you the importance of the yield curve and how it relates to the business cycles, to commodities, interest rates, profits, and stock prices. This uh, chart shows two graphs. This is the yield curve and is computer subtracting uh, from the 10-year bond yields, the two-year bond yields. And as you can see, the difference between the two has been going down quite sharply, and in fact now is negative, which means that the yield curve is invert inverted. Well, the purpose of this chart is, is to show you how the yield curve uh, is related to the business cycle. This is the business cycle as we computed, is a proprietary indicator, but it's computed real time from market data. So as you can see, the, 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 the economy started slowing down and the yield curve has been flattening and then now has been inverting. Here the, the economy has been expanding and the yield curve has been steepening. Here the, yield curve, the business cycle uh, started slowing down and here the yield curve has been flattening. So the, the, the point is the yield curve is closely related to the trends in business activity. The, the yield curve, the red line, which is now inverted at almost minus 50, 41, 42 basis points, is closely related to the growth of the money supply. In other words, when the, the yield curve steepens, then reflects a growth in liquidity. When the yield, yield curve flattens and then inverts, it reflects a slowdown in contraction in the growth of the money supply. The fact that the yield curve is still inverted, it suggests that liquidity is likely to be contracting and it be, be very poor. So keep that in mind if you, how that relates to the markets, which I'm gonna cover right, later on. The yield curve, the red line, is a very important leading indicator of the economy and GDP. This is real GDP. So you can see the, the yield curve uh, steepening and after in suggesting there is an increase in liquidity in the system and sure enough, GDP, the economy, started improving. But from this point on, with liquidity declining and the uh, yield curve flattening and now inverting so badly, as you can see, this is closely related to the growth of the economy. So the fact that the yield curve is here means that the, the economy will continue to slow down and weaken until when? Well, until the yield curve start steepening again. But the yield curve, which is the blue line, is also closely related to inventories. This is very important because when business decides to cut inventories, we are going to have, we are going to have a slowdown or even a deep recession, which I think is what is going to happen. As you can see here, the yield curve is steepening. And look what happens here. This is the inventory to sales ratio. And the fact that this is now is coming down, it means that sales are growing slower, much slower than inventory. When that happens, business has to cut production. Not only cut production, but cut purchases of raw materials, borrow less, hire less, fewer people. So what this means is that business will become much more defensive in the future and will continue to cut and reduce production, which is obviously poor for a lot of things. This is again is the, uh, the, the yield curve steepening and then flattening and then contracting. And look what happens after a while that is, is uh, steepening. At some point, employment, which this is job openings, start improving and start improving as there is more liquidity, the business is strong. However, when the yield curve start flattening and then inverting, you can see there is the, the, uh, the job openings decline because of course, as we said in the previous slide, business becomes more conservative. So what is gonna to happen to employment? Well, what the yield curve is saying that these numbers are gonna keep on going down until when? until the yield curve really starts steepening for several, several months. So we are headed for some weaker conditions, not stronger conditions. 
This is the yield curve, steepening and flattening. The blue line is profit if business. And as you can see, after the, the yield curve is, uh, is steepening, of course, this means that it's more liquidity, business is doing well, profits, of course, increase. But when the liquidity start contracting and the yield curves are flattening and they're steepening, business, as we saw before, they're cutting production because inventories are rising too fast. Look what happens to profit. Profits follow very closely the, the yield curve. So what this means, it means that the, the profitability of corporations is likely to slow down and decline for quite a while. Until when? Until we see the yield curve slowly and gradually steadily steepening again. And I think this will take some time for this to happen. Notice another thing. Notice how everything is goes this way. The yield curve goes steepens and then flattens. And all the indicators I've been showing about business go up and then start going down again. How does the yield curve, which is the, the red line and flattening here, relates to uh, copper in bond deals, that is commodities in, in bond deals. Well, the yield curve is an important leading indicator, so it's not a coincidental with, with the ups and downs of, of interest rates and commodities. But what you see is that as when the yield curve uh, goes steepens, meaning that there is the business is improving, after a while, yields and commodities start rising. But then when the yield curve starts flattening and then inverting, meaning that there is less liquidity in the system, business is cutting production, and so on and so forth, then after a while, because of the reduced purchases of raw materials, commodities start slowing down. But of course, as business slows down, they require less borrowing, less money, therefore interest rates start declining. So what, what does mean? this implies that as long as the yield curve remains steep, Commodities and interest rates are likely to decline. When will they rise again? When there is a very protective one to two years expansion or steepening of the yield curve as it happened here, then only after two years or three years, this indicator start rising again. As I said in the previous slide, uh, the yield curve is in a leading indicator, at least by one to two years, the increase in, uh, in uh, commodities, in particular in crude oil. The yield curve started steepening and then crude oil started going up. Then the yield curve started flattening and then inverting. And look what this has happened. So this is a major top in crude oil. And when will crude oil start going up again? Only after the yield curve starts steepening for several months, if not one to two years. So what is the trend of crude oil right now is definitely down. What about the yield curve and stock prices? Well, you would not be surprised if the yield curve is also closely related to stock prices because of the relationship of the uh, yield curve to profits and overall business. This is the yield curve flattening and then steepening, and this is the growth in, uh, in the stock market improving, and then as soon as the yield curve started steepening, I'm uh, sorry, flattening, the yield curve started flattening, then inverted, and stock prices started slowing down, slowing down, and then eventually they're declining. So will uh, stock prices go up right now? Well, not unless you believe that the yield curve is, is going to steepen. Is the yield go going to steepen? Well, this is something that remains to be seen.